Beatitudes. I'm Cami, and I'm here to bring you fitness foundations. So today we're going to use some hand weights and your flat therapy band. So make sure you've got those with you. Come on up to standing because as always, we like to start out with a little warm up. How are you doing today? It's Good Friday and Passover for those who are celebrating that this week and going into Easter weekend. So, so much stuff to celebrate, right? So, are you ready? Are you standing? All right, let's march it out. Right and left. Good, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Heels to the front with a push, push, push. Push, four more, four, three, two, and one. March it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Toes to the back with a reach, 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 reach. Four more, four, three, two, and one, march it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, roll the shoulders with a heel, roll, 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 four more, four, three, two, and one, march it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, heel jacks, arms and heels. Arms and heels. Good, keep it going. Four more like this. Four, three, two, and one. Cross in front, it's cross and open. Open up those arms. Whew, good. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. March it out. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Little kicks to the front. It's kick and kick. Good. All right. You ready? Add a little push for four, three, two, one. Overhead for four, three, Two, one up to the side for four, three, two, and one. Walk it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Just your heels. Heel and in. Heel and in. Heel. One more. Point your toe for four, three, Two and one. Whew. And we're done with the warm up. Okay, we're staying standing. Let me check my notes here. Okay, we're going to grab our weights and stay right here. All right. Oh, I like to do the hard stuff first. So we're going to work those legs. We're going to do a traveling squat. So we're going to go laterally, and that just means out to the side. I'm going to move my clipboard here so I don't step on it. All right. So you're starting in front of your chair. Now, if the movement is too much for you, you can just stay right here and do a regular squat. You make it your own. If you like the challenge, then you can join me. We're going to do a lateral squat. So first, let's get those hands out of the way. Just put those weights together right in front right in front. Okay, we're going to take that right foot. I'm going to walk you through it. We're going to step out to the right. Now our feet are wide. We're going to sit back into a wide squat. We're going to stand up and that right foot is coming back to neutral. Left foot steps out, sit into it, stand up and bring that foot back. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to step out right and then left. We're going to keep going for eight counts. Are you ready? 
Abs are tight, back is tall. Right leg, here we go. Take it out, down, up, together. Left foot, out, down, up. Here we go, right, down, up. Here's eight, left, down, up. For seven, right, down, up. For six, left, down, up. For five, right, down, up. For four, left, down. Up for three, right, down, up for two, left, down, up, and one. Ooh, relax those arms. So you got a little isometric hold for those biceps. All right, so we're keeping on with this squat theme and we're gonna stay right in the middle. We're gonna do neutral squats now, that was just regular squats. We're gonna turn it into a combo. So we're gonna squat. Stand, bicep curl, and return, okay? So make note where your chair is in case you need it, in case you lose your balance. Here we go. Down, up, curl, return. Down, up, good. Eight, up, curl, seven, down. Up, curl, six, down. Up, curl, five. Down, up, curl, four, down, up, curl, three, down, up, curl, two, down, up, curl, and one. All right, so we are going to do some rotation. Um, yes, we're doing some rotation because we're going to take those arms overhead. So, in and out, you want to focus on the outward turn. Good. Beautiful. A couple more. Three, two, and one. Okay, bend those elbows. Your forearms are parallel to the floor. You're rotating in by your belly button and out. So, make sure that movement is coming from the shoulders. Good, don't let those elbows fly out too far away from your body. Yep, we're just waking up those rotator cuffs. Just a couple more. Three, two, and one. Oh, go ahead and relax that. Okay, we're gonna flip those arms up right here. Palms are facing me. We're gonna take them straight up overhead, straighten those elbows, and bring it straight down. Now, for a little added challenge we're going to do it with your heels it's up with the heel up with the heel heels are optional if you don't like that don't do it here we go it's eight seven six five four three two and one. Oh, rest those arms, because I got another one with the arms up. So just rest them, roll those shoulders, roll them forward. Okay, bring them back up. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring the elbows together in the center, not the hands. So hands are not touching. Elbows are coming parallel and opening back up. Okay, again, I'm gonna add in a heel. If you don't like it with a heel, you don't have to do it. Take it to the center. In with the heel, in with the heel, in, in. Give me eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, core shoulders. Straight arm. Turn your palms to the back. We're going to do a straight arm press behind us. Push, push, oh, that's stretching it out. It feels good. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Woo, beautiful. Okay, um, we are, oh, we're gonna do a little bit of balance. Put those weights in the chair. I know I sound like I'm surprised, but I wrote it, right? I forget. Okay. So earlier in the week, we did 
a toe lift for our balance. So guess what? We're going to go the opposite way. So this time, we're going to push that foot behind us. Push that foot behind us. The chair is there if you need it. Okay? Now, let me preface this by saying that if all you can handle is a single leg balance, that's all I want you to work on. I want you to work on doing whatever level you can do with holding on the least. So, single leg balance, or you can do the advanced one with me. It's up to you. All right, so right leg up, push through the heel. It's push, push, eight, seven, six, if you need the chair, it's there, five, four, three, two, and one, hold it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, that one was hard. We haven't done that one. Yeah, I thought I'd throw a little monkey wrench in your plans. Okay, we got the same thing on this side. So, all that weight's going in the right foot, the left foot is moving. We're pushing through that heel, okay? Again, single leg balance, that's your minimum. If that's all you can handle, then you do that, okay? Chairs there if you need it. Abs are tight, ready, here we go. Push, push, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, you can put it down in between. Four, three, two, one, hold it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Oh, feeling it in the front of the legs and the shins. All right, my friends, we're gonna trade these weights for the band and come on back to the front of your chair. All right, we're gonna work the back. We're gonna do some lat pull downs. Lat's just short for latissimus dorsi. And those are the really big muscles in your back. So we just shorten that to lats. All right, feet in neutral. That means your heels are right below your pelvic bones. I want your hands right in front of your thighs. And you're gonna have just a smidge of tension on your band. You're not really pulling it yet, but that's gonna put you in the right position. All right, so arms come up at a diagonal. Okay, your arms are diagonal but your elbows are straight. Don't let those elbows bend. Straighten those arms. Now, in this position, you're gonna pull that band wide. You're gonna flip those hands to face forward. It's gonna be right across your collarbones. So your knuckles are gonna be touching, barely touching your shoulders. You're squeezing the back. See my posture? Because I'm arching that back, pinching those shoulder blades, and then I'm going to release it. Okay, so that whole movement is meant to challenge your back. Now, if your band's really light and you're not getting a good squeeze, close, close your grip a little bit. So you can adjust that. All right, bands up at the diagonal. Here we go. Bring it down, release, down, release, down. One more like this, down. Okay, hold it here. I'm gonna add that heel. If you don't like it, you don't have to, but I'm gonna go a little faster with the heel. Looks like this. Down with the heel. Down with the heel. Squeeze that back. Squeeze the back. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, keep your hands on your band. Just drop them back down where you started from. Okay, so feet back in neutral, hands right in front of those thighs, stand tall. Do not bend your elbows. Pull that band, pull, pull. So you're just using those shoulders and the front of your chest a little. Here we go. Eight, it's a small movement. Seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and 
one, relax it, don't move your hands. Bring those hands up on the horizontal. Shoulder height, same thing right here, and pull. Pull, pull, give me eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, bring them up, 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 up. Overhead, pull, pull, small movement. Don't try to pull it super wide. Move from the shoulders. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, bring it in, bring it in. Beautiful job. Okay, so, oh, we've got triceps. So, we haven't done this one in a while. So we're gonna do our tricep extension out to the side, and then we're gonna turn it into our bow and arrow, okay? So if you've done that before with me, you know what's coming. So, here's what I want you to do. I'm gonna get you in position. Feet facing forward. Your arms are gonna be in a goal post, but half a goal post, okay? You're holding your knot in this left hand. Your right hand is anchoring the band right in the middle of your chest, okay? You're gonna straighten your arm out to the side and bend it. So we're working the back of the arm. You wanna feel that tension in the back of the arm when you straighten it, okay? Take it out, hold, and bend. Give me eight. Eight, hold, and bend. Seven, hold, and bend. Six, hold, and bend. Five, hold, and bend. Four, hold, and bend. Three, hold, and bend. Two, hold, and bend. Listen up. One, hold it here. Turn your left foot in the direction of that left arm. So you're looking down that arm like the barrel of a gun. Lift that right elbow. Lift it up higher than your ear. Pull that arm back. Pull. Pull, give me eight. Eight, seven, only the right arm is moving. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it. Whew. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, half of a goal post, you're gonna hold that knot in your right hand. Put just a little tension on that band. You're gonna anchor it right at your chest. Give yourself a practice one. You wanna feel that tricep tightening up as you straighten your arm. So you can choke up on that band if you need it a little tighter, okay? Here we go. Take it out, hold, and bend. Out, hold, and bend. Here we go. It's eight, hold, and bend. Seven, hold, and bend. Six, hold, and bend. Five, hold, and bend. Four, hold and bend. Three, hold and bend. Two, hold and bend. One more. Out you hold. Turn your right foot in the direction of that right arm. Look down that right arm. Lift your left elbow high above your ear and pull. It's pull. Pull. Give me eight. Eight. Seven, only the left arm's moving. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, goodness. Oh, you earned the right to sit down. Come on down here. Ooh, good job. All right. So come forward in your chair. So uh, we're going to do one quick back exercise, extend your leg, sit tall, both hands on the knot, and pull. It's pull, hold, release, 
eight, hold, release, pull, seven, hold, release, pull, six, hold, release, pull, five, I hope your band is crossed, four, release, pull, three, release, pull, two, release, one more, one, hold, release. All right, take that off. So real quick, let's do the other side. Put it around that other foot, cross your band, sit tall. All right, ready? Here we go. Pull, hold, release, squeeze the back. Eight, hold, release. Seven, hold, release. Six, hold, release. Five, hold, release. Four, hold, release. Three, hold, release. Two, hold, release. One more. One, hold, and release. Oh, fantastic. All right, take that band off. Let's put that down. It's time to stretch. Sit forward in your chair, nice tall spine. Take that right leg out on the diagonal, point your toe and flex it. Fingertips come out over that toe, reach just a little bit. Good. Feel that stretch, bring it in, lift your knee. Point and flex right here. Ankle goes in a circle and go the other way. Good, sit that down. All right. Left leg comes out, sit tall, point your toe and flex it. Fingertips come out to deepen that stretch a little bit. Breathe. Good, and release. Bring it in, lift your knee, point and flex right here. Ankle goes in a circle and go the other way. Good, sit that down. All right, nice and tall. Lace your fingers together, round your back. Pull those shoulder blades away from your spine. Good. And release that. Open up those arms, roll the thumbs back, roll the head back, it's stretching the whole front side of your body. Breathe. And release that. Right arm comes across, left arm pulls it in. Good. I love this stretch. And switch sides. All right, real quick, right arm up, pat yourself on the back, take two fingers, push that elbow up, watch your neck, good, and release that, okay, left arm up and over, take two fingers, push that elbow up, breathe, good, beautiful, and release that, okay, let's get those glutes. One ankle over one knee. Make sure that hip, knee, and ankle are all in alignment so that heel is right below that knee. Sit tall. Tilt your pelvis forward, dropping that belly button in the opening that your legs make. Okay, you're not bending from the waist. You're tipping the pelvis forward. Deep breath in, blow it out. Good, feel those muscles release. One more time, deep breath in, blow it out. Good, and release that. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. Good, tall spine. Tilt that pelvis forward, dropping that belly button in the opening your legs make, your, stump, your spine is long, deep breath in. Blow it out. Good, one more time, deep breath in. And blow it out. Good, and release that. Oh, both feet flat on the floor, arms by your side. Let's rotate those wrists and go the other way. Good. Deep breath in, arms up overhead, and exhale. And one more time. Deep breath in, arms up, and exhale. Oh, give yourselves a big hand. I know you did fantastic today. I threw some tough stuff in there, but you're able to handle it. Oh, and there's my dog. So, until next time, you guys take care, have a blessed weekend, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.